Hey, Zenia. What's up? Come here. What? Look there. Is he proposing? Yeah, he did <laughs> just now. Look how happy they are. Oh, for God's sake. They'll hate each other in a week and pawn the ring. Mark my words. <sighs> By the way, all my friends who married in a hurry have already divorced. And if I remember, you and Vadim had a good start in your relationship. Then what happened? Well, Vadim never proposed to me. Mm-hmm. Thank God for that. Spared you grief. By the way, has he come around? Mm-mm. I haven't seen him in four months. Hmm. That's nice. Listen, damn that idiot. Why are you so late? I had an ultrasound. I spent two hours waiting in line. Mm, mm. I see. Are you going to work dressed like that? Go and change your clothes. Sam mm. Sanic is mad. Go, go. Have you talked to the mistress? Yep, I called yesterday. Well, she doesn't mind, so you can pack your suitcases. My job finishes in a week, and the flat will be yours. Are you going to your place? Yeah, in the country. Aren't you scared? Of what? Listen. You're pregnant. Don't have a husband. They look down on such things. They talk behind your back. That's fine. I'll survive. I don't care all that much what people think. And what about what your mother thinks? My mother's pretty simple. She wants to believe that her daughter left for the city, is getting a culinary education, and marries a local. Yeah, but won't she be disappointed? <laughs> she will. She'll grumble about it, and then she'll calm down. She's a good one. She brought me up alone. Hmm. I hope to God. Chance, part one. <sighs> oh. So how are you in there? You tired? <sighs> yeah, we both had a tough day. We'll have a little rest, and then, and then have dinner. We'll both raise our hemoglobin together, like the doctor told us. You like beans and liver? Do you? Okay, let's go. Hi, babe. Are you? I missed you. <sighs> so what's going on? Did you have an argument? Did the wife kick you out? You remembered about me? Babe, I'm... I've just said I missed you so much. 
I always think only about you. Just don't say that, Vadim. I remember everything. You don't need me and my baby. You've got a family. I can't help it. It just happened. Why haven't you bothered to tell me? You would have left. I wouldn't have survived. <sighs> come on. Let's not talk about it. Don't touch me. Why did you come? <sighs> you out of money? <laughs> what money are you talking about? <laughs> I need a place to stay for a while. To hide, you know? Just a couple of days. I'll leave. <laughs> Are you really serious? I am. Get out. This isn't a flop house for you. Hold on. I forgot the most important thing. What's that? A present. I bought it for you. <laughs> Don't you think it's beautiful? Hold on. Don't, don't bother. Don't move, okay? Do not touch me. Wait, please, hold on. Don't be nervous. It's bad for you. There, there, there. What's wrong? It looks good on you. Everything always does. You're so beautiful. Vadim, if you don't leave now, I'll... I'll call the police. Police? <laughs> Why call the police? <laughs> Xenia, have you forgotten where I work? I don't care. I'll call the cops and get out of town just like you want. What a familiar couch. So many memories here. <sighs> Would you like to join me for a minute? These two days will fly by. Trust me. You're so disgusting. I'm sick of you being in the same house. Xenia. I'm calling the police. Come on, Xenia. <laughs> Who are you going to lead down the garden path? You wanted to hide? Thought we wouldn't find you. Where are the documents? In a safe place. I'll ask you one more time. Where? We can make a deal. The problem is that I don't believe you. Well, I'll give you the money. Then you crawl into your hole again. No. This problem... needs to be solved differently. Wait, no, stop! <laughs> He's dead. Now search the place. Did you know there was someone else here? Hurry up and find out who it was.
Zenia Sokolova. She was born in 1991, registered in the village of Botrovo. <clears throat> it's about 40 miles away from the city. So listen, man. I'm gonna need your help. What kind of help? Well, there's an important guy who needs to meet this sweetie. It's important to his business. And what's my interest? Well, we'll give you some cash, so you can live the good life. So you can buy yourself something. Something nice. <clears throat> Deal, let's try to find this Miss Sokolova. She murdered a policeman and deserves a stiff punishment. We'll put her on the wanted list and organize a stakeout of the apartment. She might just come back for her stuff. You can put a tracer on her phone, right? Don't tell me what to do. Get the money ready. Okay, I'll get you the money. We'll talk, all right? Well then? Everything is okay. This one can smell cash a mile away. I need this woman alive. It's likely Vadim gave her the documents. Understood, yeah. Vera, I need your help. I need to hide somewhere. I don't know. It's not important if it's at your place or with one of your friends. Vera, help me. I'm in a real jam. Yeah, I know. Some people came to me today and asked about you. Who? Who? An investigator? That's who. And you know, I was strongly advised to tell the police if you show up. Listen, tell me, is that true that you banged Vadim? Vera, are you insane? No, of course not. He was killed before my eyes. By whom? I don't know. Some gangsters. And why are you hiding from the police if you're not guilty? Because they're working together. I heard them talking about finding me. The gangsters and the police are both in this together. Man, this is really bad. They'll definitely get you. Nice, and me by proxy then. No, it's a bad idea to stay in the city. You need to, 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 to leave the city. Where to? I really don't know where. Why do you ask me? And look, don't even think about telling me the address. Do you got that? I've already tried covering up for you, okay? Here. Take it, take it. That's all I have. Good luck, see you later. Uh, Vera. Bye. You look like you might like to sit down. Thank you very much. 30 weeks? 33. I almost guessed right. Are you a doctor? No. I'm a happy husband and a future father. <laughs> Let me introduce my wife, Lita. <laughs> nice to meet you, Hi, Lita. Nice to I'm meet Zenia. you. And I'm Sus. Is sitting down more comfortable? Yes, thank you. Why do they make people wait so long before leaving? 
It feels like we've been standing here forever. I'll take advantage of the moment. Where are you going? I'll get us something to eat. I saw a hot corn stand over there. But don't take too long, okay? Mm. It's a little cold out here. Here, wear this. Oh, no, no, I didn't mean that. Take it. And what about you? Look at me. I have this big sweater on. Take it. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <sighs> Tell me, are you going to raise it alone? Uh, is it that obvious? It wasn't that hard. You shouldn't worry about it. The main thing is that the baby will have a mother. <laughs> For example, I grew up alone. My parents died when I was just three. My aunt brought me here and died a year later. Then to an orphanage. I don't even remember them anymore. Lita, at least your baby will have a happy, close-knit family. Yeah, a mommy and a daddy. <laughs> and Stas has got an older brother and mother. That's so nice. But they don't actually want to see us. Why not? Because of me. Well, his family is very wealthy. And they mm. think that everyone around them wants their money. That's why his mom gave him an ultimatum. Leave the girl. Yeah, but he chose you. He can be very stubborn. <laughs> he left home and moved to my place. His <laughs> mother was so offended, she didn't want to see any wedding photos. Awful. Mm -hmm. <sighs> well, I don't think she'll be that way for very much longer, Lita. She will definitely like you. <laughs> she couldn't help but like you. <laughs> She hasn't even seen me yet. And I worry more about Stas. He's a very happy person most of the time, but I see him missing his mom and his brother. Finally, you think you could have Don't come a testy. little earlier, huh? We'll be leaving on time. Our bus departs at five o'clock. Those with luggage get here first. Stas! <sighs> All right, girls, it's time to listen up. I got one for you. I'm gonna tell you a story about a fishing trip. <laughs> Once my brother and I went fishing on our bicycles. We got there, put our lines in, and went to it. <laughs> and had one more drink. Just a sip. We needed <laughs> to warm up. Like I was saying, <laughs> there we sat, and the fish weren't biting at all. After we had another shot, my brother remembered that there was a lake, just three miles to the north. We had a shot and went. <laughs> Actually, he doesn't drink. That's why he was so drunk, because he wasn't used to it. Hey, am I the storyteller or not? Okay, okay. <laughs> so we were riding. Until we saw the water, we cast our fishing rods. And then we both fell asleep. When I woke up in the morning, we were in a huge cornfield. A big puddle was nearby where we had cast our rods and reels. My brother was snoring, and farmers in the field were laughing their heads off. And where was the lake? The lake was a hundred yards to the right. <laughs> By the way, there's an old saying. Wherever you go, tie your shoes. Mm -hmm. No. Okay, then. Okay. Hey. No, it won't work like that. <laughs> Hey, let me help you. Thank you. Be careful. Today, there was a terrible accident involving a bus filled with passengers. Police on the scene report multiple fatalities. We will keep you updated as more information becomes available.
What? What? What happened to my baby? It's all right. It's a boy, five pounds. Where? Where is my son? In an incubator. Where is he? How do you feel? Are you in much pain? Do you have a headache? No, nothing. Nothing. Do you remember what happened? Uh, yeah. I was riding on the bus, and Stas was tying my shoelace. And stuff started to fall down, and I hit my head, and... and I don't remember anymore. What happened to Stas? There were no other survivors. I'm sorry, your husband is gone. I don't have a husband. But you've got a son. Think of him now. Bring me my child, please. Bring me my son. I want to see him. I want to see my son. It's impossible. He's in critical condition. I'll go myself then. I have to. Lie down, please. I don't recommend that you move. Please. I'm begging you. Bring him. Bring him, please. You need to sleep. Get some rest. We'll have to keep her on anti-anxiety drugs. Uh, by the way, have you informed her relatives? Kesaranova is an orphan, but she has a mother-in-law in Moscow. We got in touch and she promised to come. That's good. Have you gotten through? They'll prepare all the documents. We will be able to take Stas to Moscow. I've arranged the funerals. That's okay, I'll be fine, son. Mom, please stay. I'll do everything myself. We've already discussed that. Don't start, don't. Mrs. Capitolina said your blood pressure was very high this morning. I just took a pill. It's okay now. I, I feel fine. Mom, you need to take care of your heart. Uh, I have to go there. They told me Lita is alive. She gave birth to a child. I have to see them. Yeah. You didn't even want to hear her name earlier. <laughs> I made the biggest mistake of my entire life. I kicked my son out of the house. If I hadn't done this, he wouldn't have gone on that bus. And he would still be alive. He got onto that bus because of Lita. Because of both of us. Hi there. You woke up. Are you hungry? Could you bring me my son? It's impossible now. He's in pediatric ICU. Hush, hush, hush. Why? Has his condition worsened? Look, your son is a preterm baby. 
we just observe him as a patient. You'll be able to see him soon. And if you keep insisting, I'll sedate you. No. You have no right to do that. I'll complain. Call the head physician. And shall I call for the health minister as well? Or the president? There. It's for your own good. <laughs> now, calm down. <laughs> I'm begging you, please call my mom, she, she lives in Petrovo. The dialing code, there is... Five. Wait, who should I call? Hello there. Hello there. Hello. Hello. I'd like to see Lida Kazaranova. Is she here? Yeah, there she is over there. They sedated her in order to keep her calm. Lita? She just constantly asks to see her child, and nurses keep putting her out. Look, I really don't understand whether they've got any sympathy. If they showed her son, she would be calm and that's it. Don't be silly. They don't want to feel for anybody. Hmm. My aunt, who worked in a trauma unit, used to tell me that they'd sedate half of their unit. That's how hospitals economize. If a patient sleeps, there's no need to feed them. Andre! I saw him. The baby is so very tiny. Dear, the conditions there are completely appalling. Them? Yes, I made an agreement. Lita and the baby will be transferred to Moscow what today. Next? What do you mean next? If Lita agrees, they will live at our place. I would like that to be the case very much. Oh, would you? You gonna let this fraudster in our house? Andre, she is the mother of my grandchild. Mother? Stas's child is one thing, but it's totally another, his so-called wife. What do you mean, so-called? They had lawful matrimony. <sighs> you want to help her? Perfect. There are thousands of homeless. Just give her money. Andre, I can understand how after that case, 
You would hate women. How does that case come into the picture, Mother? How does that case come into the picture? Honey, please, let's not argue. Please, I want you to understand me. I want to make amends to Stas for everything that I have ever done. Okay, Mom. Thank you, Andre. You were transferred while sleeping. And my son? Is he here? Sure. He's been waiting for you to wake up. <gasps> my boy. <sighs> my sweet here you boy. Go. <sighs> he is so nice. And his eyelashes are so long. I've never seen anyone's like that My before. My sweetie. You are so beautiful. You know, they have never given him to me before. Now the baby will always be with mommy. You will recover soon, and you'll both go home. <sighs> I wish we had a home. Could you tell me, please, why we've been transferred? Mrs. Maria arranged this. We have high-tech facilities for preterm babies. And Mrs. Maria is? Your mother-in-law. Lita, she's a wonderful woman. She loves her grandchild so much. Mm hmm What? What did you just call me? Lita. Don't you remember your name, miss? The doctor had warned me that you might have partial memory loss after the accident you were in. But don't worry, you'll recover soon. No, there... There was another woman... on the bus with me. You survived a tragedy, so try not to think about it. You shouldn't get upset. Get some rest. So everything is ready, isn't it? Yes. Only... The crib is left, ma'am. Oh, oh. Here, let me help you. Thank you. Hello. Yes, I'm listening. What? Try to keep her from leaving. I'll be right there. Lady, please. I can't stay here. It's... It's personal. Could you please just bring me my clothes right now? If you don't want to listen to me, just wait until your mother-in-law comes and let her explain it to you. She is not my mother-in-law. Mrs. Maria, we can't keep patients by force. Please try to persuade your daughter-in-law. She needs medical treatment. Could you please give us a moment alone? Lita, I can understand. I can understand that you don't want to talk to me, but please, give me five minutes. Listen, ma'am. It wouldn't make any difference if the accident hadn't happened. Please, just... just a couple of minutes. I know you think of me as a terrible person and an awful mother, and you're right. I constantly chastise myself for those words that I said to Stas. I haven't seen him for a year, and I haven't even heard his voice. And I'll never be able to now. I don't know how I'm going to ever live with this. I can't say it to Stas. That's why I'm telling you. Please forgive me. If you think that you can. I know Stas forgave you a long time ago. I'm begging you, just give me a chance. Let me take care of the baby. I'll do everything for him. He won't ever want for anything his whole life. He'll have the best doctors, teachers, schools, universities, please. I don't know. I don't know. Think of your son's future. You are not in a hurry. Just... just stay. Stay here and make your decision, okay? Okay. 
I'll do it. Thank you, Lita. Oh, it's Gennady. Answer it. Hello? Yeah, I know. So what's there? Uh, okay, okay, Captain, yeah. We owe you one. Bless you, all right? Sokolova is dead. Is that so? Our mother came to the morgue and identified the body so we can stop looking. What could she identify? Didn't you say that everyone was burnt? <sighs> well, I don't know. I mean, maybe there's a recognizable scar. Or her maternal instinct helped her. Vasily, it's my instinct which helps me remain sharp. <clears throat> Be alert to the situation. Keep it under control. If you pay, we do anything, Mr. Alexander. What are we gonna do, baby? I want everything to be okay with you. Maybe this is our chance. Hello. I am Lita Kazarinova. Hello? Hello. Mom? Senya. My daughter? Alive. Oh, dear God! My daughter! Mom, don't cry, please. Listen to me, Mom. Listen to me. Listen. Mom, I gave birth to a boy. A boy. A beautiful one. Mom, do not tell anyone that I called you. I'm fine. Say that I'm dead. Does everyone think so? Let them think so. Let them. My dear girl, I don't know what's happening with you right now, but I'm begging you. Please be careful, both of you. I'll pray for both of you. Goodbye. Thanks so much. Oh, so sweet. <gasps> What's the matter? It's a... It's a palace. It's just your home. Go. Don't be afraid. Go. Come on. Let's go, let's go.
This is our cook, Capitolina. A magician with desserts. She has lived with no. us for how many years is it now? 20 years, right? It's hmm? actually been 23 oh. years, ma'am. Gosh, how time flies. Uh, this mm -hmm. is our housemaid, Nina. Mm -hmm. She's going to help you with the baby. What for? What do you mean? I can do it myself. Oh, I'm sure that you can. Still, if you need some kind of help, you can always ask Nina or me. This is Boris. You already know him. He's our driver. Well, the official part of our tour uh -huh. is done. Thank you all very uh -huh. much. You're free to go now. Let's go. I'll show you the baby's room. Let's go. Follow me. Here, upstairs. Oh, be careful. Let me help you. You can go look around. It's a nice baby carriage. I saw it in a magazine, but it's too expensive. I thought if I had money for that, I could go out and buy a new car. Don't be mad at me. I know that I'm a great spendaholic. When I saw it, I just couldn't help buying it. Thank you so much. These things are gorgeous. I'm glad you're happy. That's nice. I adore giving presents. Have you thought about giving the boy a name yet? He'll be Stas. If you wouldn't mind. Thank you for that, dear. <laughs> but there's no salt on the table. Would you mind bringing some here for us, Capitolina, please? Mr. Andre said not to. They torture me with this low-sodium diet. It's your heart, ma'am. You're not allowed. <laughs> Bon appetit. What's the discussion? Andre, sweetie, you're on time. Andre, please take a seat. I appreciate your concern about my health, but Lita shouldn't have to eat bland beef. There must always be some salt on the table. Capitolina, if you don't mind, bring some salt. I hope, Mom, you'll resist the temptation. Mm-hmm. I'll be watching you. <laughs> Oh, how impolite I am. I haven't introduced you yet. This is Andre, my eldest son. This is Lida, our new house guest. Nice to meet you. You too. Bon appetit, everyone. Yes, bon appetit, everyone. <laughs> What do you think of the meat? Very tasty. I cook very much like this, but I add more cilantro and parsley, and I like to add a little bit of cardamom. Do you like cooking? I do very much. I tried in the beginning as well, but it's hard to compete with Capitolina. She's so incredible. That's true. Andre, dear, did you remember my request? Sure I did. I got the proper people involved. Andre is busy with your documents, reissuance, your passport, your medical insurance policy. Andre, could you provide Lita with a driver's license? Of course, Mom. Do you miss the Black Sea Coast Lita? Excuse me? Odessa. I've been busy with your passport today. I found out that you were born in Odessa. Are you from Odessa? 
Such a lovely city. I simply adore the Potemkin Stairs. Primorsky Boulevard. And what's your favorite place, Lita? I don't remember. I, I was taken away from there too early. Three. My parents drowned. Thanks for the meal. It was delicious. Where are you going, Lita? I'm so sorry for making you sad. Please forgive me. No, it's nothing. I'm just full and want to be with my son. I'm tired. Well, get some rest then. What's the matter, dear? The house is so big, I, I don't remember the way. I'll show you. Come with me. Thank you. Here we are. Thank you. Just a minute. I hadn't been in close touch with Stas lately, but he used to write to me. But I believe, if I remember correctly, you were a vegetarian. So it makes me wonder, Lida, was I mistaken or did I just misunderstand what my brother told me? Could you explain that to me? I was. During pregnancy, I needed hemoglobin. Where was I going to get it from? A carrot? How cunning you are. You've done everything to make your way into our family. But I'm gonna expose your true colors. Knock, knock. May I come in? Yes. Good morning, sweetheart. Are you in a hurry? Is it important, Mom? I think it is. Have a seat. <laughs> Are you going to <laughs> knock me off my feet? <laughs> no, uh, I've come to ask for advice. I want to talk to you about my last will and testament. Mother, I don't want to discuss that. You're going to live to be a hundred. That may be true, but I need to change it. Why do you want to change it? Well, you know, since Lida and Stas came into our lives, I've, well, I've constantly been thinking, and I came to a decision. I guess that you want to change your will to include the two of them. Will you support me? I don't mind my nephew. All Stas's property should become his son's. But when it comes to Lida, I wouldn't be in a hurry with that. She's a dignified girl. What do you know about her exactly? She is sweet. And innocent. She wants you to see her like that. She's trying to get you to like her. In your her. mind, am I mad enough that I can't tell lies from the truth? I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. Well, you can dispose of the property of your own free will. Please listen, I, I do appreciate your help. You are CEO of Dad's company now. You developed it and you spend all your time working. But please don't be offended. I just needed your advice. Then I advise you to slow down. But 100 years is too much. I don't think I'll live that long. Let's do this then. We'll change your will in a month. But for now, we'll take a closer look at our new relatives, shall we? <laughs> Thanks, son. And I am absolutely positive that Lida is going to ace your probation period, mister. He'll sleep at least three hours. So, uh, what are your plans for today? Ambitious ones. Yeah, what? Sure. 
Take a walk, take a nap, have a bite. Same old thing. <laughs> Honey, a whole week has passed and you just sit at home. Are you ever going to get out of the house? Yeah, I am. I like this. Look, honey, young girls like you should go out, have some fun. Shopping, fitness clubs, beauty salons, a restaurant, for God's sake. Mrs. Maria, it's not my cup of tea. I've always been a homebody, and now I'm more than ever. How can I leave him alone? <laughs> Do you think that I can't take care of him? I think you can take care of him, even better than me. Thank you. Just, just let him grow up a little. <laughs> When he grows up, you are going to be a granny. My dear, time flies by too quickly. Tell you what, here is my personal credit card. What for? <gasps> Mrs. Maria, I can't take it. There is no need to give this to me. Hush. It's yours. Don't argue. Have you had breakfast yet? No, I haven't. Off you go to the dining room. Not but, only but are I you really a home buddy, you go. also don't eat enough. Oh gosh, just go to the dining room, Leah. I... I'll stay with Stas. Go. Good morning. Good morning. Morning. Today we have scrambled eggs with ham. Want some? Or would you like something different? No, it's okay. I'll have the scrambled eggs. I cook as quick as a whip. I just want to know what you prefer, miss. Capitalina. It would be perfect if it's scrambled eggs, mm -hmm. honestly. Please keep your seat. I'll bring it. Bon appetit. Thank mm -hmm. you. So tell me something. How did you make my mom want to give you money? Uh. Andre. Stop it. I can't even imagine where I can spend this much money. Stas and I, we both have everything we need oh, here. Oh, please, come on. You're good at wrapping everyone around your little finger. First my brother, then my mother. That's not true. I really loved Stas. Stop lying to me. The only thing you love is our money. You didn't love my brother. I'll bet anything you didn't even try to get to know him. Like knowing his favorite book. Sports, film, actress, anything like that at all, huh? Stop it. Stop talking to me like that. You don't have any right to grill me about Stas. Masha. Yes, Mr. Andre. Cancel all my meetings today. Got it, sir. And could you send a lawyer to my office? Uh, sure. Anyone in particular? Igor, if he's free. I'll check, sir. Igor! Yes? Speak of the devil and he'll appear. Hello. Hello. I want you to prepare a paper. It's something I need concerning my late brother's wife. Follow me. Mm -hmm. Are you busy? I don't have the slightest idea about dinner. Either roast beef with mushrooms and potato, or chicken a zoo. That's always the way. I want to create something new. And you, huh? Are you hungry? No, I'm not. Stas fell asleep and I don't know what to do. Can I help you somehow? No, no, I can do it myself. This is my sauce frying pan world. Would you mind if I visited with you? I just can't seem to sit still. Are you any good with a knife? I am. Just oh. watch. Ugh, I want a yacht party. The night, the lights. 
sparkling wine everywhere and music. <laughs> Honey, are you listening to me? Sure I am. Birthdays only come once a year, so it's important to make them remarkable, right? So, ask me what present I want. <laughs> what then? A new car. It must be all sparkly. Will you keep it in mind? I'll definitely keep it in mind. Do you remember my friend, Lily? Hmm? The model? Mm-hmm. So her sugar daddy bought her a car like that, all sparkly and brand spanking new. That's what I want, honey. Quiet. I don't know, honey. Mm, don't you like the idea of having a party? I like the idea just fine. Maybe it's the... the present I asked for, hmm? Uh, tell me something. What would a... a small-town orphan girl do for a car as fancy as all that, hmm? She would hang herself. But I... I can do anything you want, hmm? It seems kind of vulgar, doesn't it? You don't understand what a nice car means? <laughs> mm. This is splendid. Did you cook it yourself? I didn't touch a thing. Yeah. Yeah, I wish you would have seen her working with the knife. <laughs> she should be working as a chef in some fancy restaurant. It's just a good recipe. I was lucky to find it in a cookbook. Capitalina, I have a request for you. Andre is coming late from work today. Could you be so kind as to leave him some of this dish? I have already left him some. Don't you worry. I'll meet and feed him. Mm. Mrs. Maria, may I cook for you again sometime? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Breakfast or dinner, it doesn't matter. It's not difficult for me. Stas sleeps during the day and I don't have anything to do. And I don't really want to be a moocher. Oh my goodness, don't say things like that. Forget that word. You are like a daughter to me. I didn't mean to offend you. I just really want to be helpful. And what should I do with servants? Leave them jobless? You should think of yourself first and of your son. And remember my suggestion to start going outside. It'll be 40 days since Stas' death on Saturday. I reserved a table in one restaurant. I'm only inviting some very close friends. Will you come? Yes, yes. I'd be honored to come. And there's something I wanted to ask you about. Might you possibly have photo albums I could look at? Yes. Would you show me some photos of Stas? <laughs> this is Stas at Ken. <laughs> he was seven there. Oh. He got so homesick, though, that we had to bring him home after just a week. He never went there again, but Andre liked all that kind of stuff and made <laughs> us take him there all the time. <sighs> and what's this? A competition? Mm-hmm. They're both avid skiers. Didn't you know that? Well, didn't Stas tell you that? No. Well, Stas got interested in it not too long ago, mm -hmm. recently. Andre still skis sometimes. He likes karate. He likes all kinds of sports. <laughs> That's great. Mm -hmm. Mother, have you forgotten to take your pills again? <sighs> My torturer. Why should I keep taking them if everything is okay? You know you need to finish the treatment. Please, don't be difficult. <sighs> what should I do with him, huh? Mm -hmm. Are you happy now? No, not yet. It's getting late. It's time to go to bed. You are unbelievable. <sighs> I don't own my own life, as you can see. Good night, my dear. <laughs> Good night. Good night to you, too. Lita, stay for a while, please. 
Is anything wrong? What is this? It's a car. I can see that. Do you like it? Uh, uh, it's impressive. Well, it's yours. What do you mean? You've got a driver's license. It's time to use it. Take it. It's a gift. Andre? If it's some kind of compromise, I won't accept it. Here are the documents for the car and lifetime lease agreement. I'm willing to pay you $5,000 a month, including a flat in uh. Moscow. And the main thing is this. I give up custody? Stas remains with us. You sit in the car, I wave my hand, and neither mom nor I sees you. Do you accept the deal or not? I don't need a thing from you. <laughs> Hoping to get more? Are you counting on my mother's will? Rest assured, I'll talk her out of it. What's wrong? How can you offer me such a deal? Who do you think I am? <sighs> you are a parasite. You've clung like an insect, trying to attach yourself to our family. <sighs> if I am so disgusting to you, I will leave. But I'll take my son with me. By the way, this car is vulgar. I thought you had better taste than that. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Those are the Panagans. Anatoly is a dear friend and the head of our security office. His wife and I are, well, to be honest, I don't really care for her very much. Our deepest sympathies, Maria. Thank you. Anatoly, Mrs. Zaneda, allow me to introduce you to Lida. She is Stas's widow. Anatoly. Sorry, ladies. That is Mr. Shapovalov and his daughter, Christina. For three years now, she's been dreaming of marrying Andre. What about him? Their relationship is awkward. I don't think Andre is excited about being with her. She thinks very differently than he does, my dear. I have always spoken well of Stas. He was such a good guy. May he rest in peace forever. Lida. Would you like to say anything? We'll understand if you don't. <clears throat> I... I recall that before the accident, Stas was telling me a story about when he and Andre went fishing. When they, they confused a big puddle with a lake and threw up on their fishing rods. 
It was funny. I... I'm really not as good a storyteller, but Stas used to make his very funny. I mean, I didn't mean to make you laugh. I just wanted to say that my husband's last words were about his brother. He loved him very, very much. It was very sweet. Sorry, I must have said something very wrong. I'm sorry. Is little Stoss sleeping? Yes, he had a good meal and behaved himself, ma'am. Good. May I go to him? Lita, sweetie, would you mind staying for a little while? Let's have some tea. Nina, would you ask Capitolina to make some tea? Let's go. Shall we listen to music? Lita, choose something Stas used to like. Rigoletto? No. No, honey, you're mistaken. Stas was a fan of German music, 18th century. He didn't like opera. I'm sorry, I'll turn it off. Handel, Bach. Stas liked them. It's strange that you didn't know that. I... I just forgot it. Oh, really? How is that possible? I'm sorry, I'd better go. You are so cruel. I'm trying to show you who she really is. She wasn't interested in Stas. Only in his money. Shh. The doctor told me that her memory might be fuzzy after that accident. Just think to yourself. She overcame a terrible tragedy. Yes, I feel for her. I do, Mother. Andre, you must change your mind about this girl. How can I? Should I turn you a blind look, eye? You look, but you see nothing. Look what a nice person she is. Can't you see her as being neither difficult nor materialistic? The bank card I gave her has gone completely untouched. She hasn't spent a penny. I always get account statements. And yes, the inheritance. I talked to her about it. Do you know what she told me? She refused it. She is a beautiful, tender, caring mother. And that means a lot. You know, I don't want any tea. I'm going to lie down.
I wanted to look in on you before I went to sleep. Can we talk for a minute? Of course. Have a seat. I'm sorry about Andre. I'm not mad. I can see he's a good person inside. The way he treats you is a good example. You know, in the past, Andre has been burned badly by women. He met this one girl, and he even had intended to marry her. And then, suddenly, his friend gave that girl a jet as a gift. A jet? Yes. So? So she flew away. Imagine his feelings then. Two strikes at once. The woman he loved and his so-called friend. That must have hurt. All of us get betrayed. Some of us recover, and some of us let the wounds fester for a bit. Maybe he needs some more time to let those wounds heal. I don't know, my dear. Andre became very cynical. He keeps to himself. He has many admirers. They fly to him like moths to flames because of money, and he's happy to pay. Because it justifies his theory about the attitude of women. Sadomasochism of some kind. I don't know what to do about it. I think that soon, he'll put everything in its proper perspective. Andre will meet a girl who inspires him to believe in love again. I hope that you're right. Please don't be offended by his remarks. Mrs. Maria, actually I wanted to, I wanted to ask you for something. May I? Anything you want, my dear. I want to go somewhere. Not for long, just for one day. To visit a friend. <laughs> we didn't see each other after the accident. Would you mind looking after Stas? Of course. Go. Don't you worry about Stas. I'll take good care of him. Thank you so much. Mama? Mama! Zenya, Mama! Dear! Mama! Zenya! And every day I have to lie, scramble to make up stories. I can't take it anymore. I'm so tired of it. Oh, Zenya, Zenya. If you declare yourself alive, and take your name back, those who were looking for you. They're going to find out. And it will be only a matter of time until the police Mama, find you. Mama, I already told you I didn't kill him. But you won't be able to prove it. <sighs> I can't it. live this way anymore. I can't take it. <sighs> Mrs. Maria wants to add Stas into her will. He's not related to them. How can I do it? She treats me like a daughter. And I'm lying to her. What can I say to lie as a sin? Think about me and about your son. When I went to identify you, all of the bodies were burnt. No skin on them at all. They showed me the corpse. They said it was you. I immediately fell to the floor. Mama. Oh, Mama. And when I regained consciousness, they said to me, Madam, did you bring a coffin? And I couldn't say a word. I just shook my head. Mama, please don't. I'm alive. Try to forget it ever happened. 
No, Zanya, I don't want to bury you. I'm begging you, please stay alive. Leave things as they are. Mama. Zanya. <laughs> Good evening, Sergey. Good evening. Mom, I thought we had an agreement. We do everything your doctor says to do. But, son, is doing these exercises absolutely necessary? The doctor said you need physical exercise. A Nordic walking is the latest thing, am I yes, right? Yes, you are. It's very popular these days for people of any age. And it does help during treatment. Please, just trust me, these sticks can work miracles. They sound miracles. like magic wands, but I'm not a fairy. I'm just an old female patient who just wants to be left alone. Is that so wrong? Please, give me a minute. Look, when you take a normal step, what's happening? Only the muscles of the legs are working, right? Now look carefully. Look, and step, and step, and step, and step. Both hands and feet work. Therefore, you're working the entire body. Andre, you started all this in vain. I am very sorry. Welcome home, my dear girl. How are you doing? Little Stas is doing just fine. And uh, this is just nice a therapeutic exercise, a demonstration of the latest methods. S sorry for the trouble, but there will be no lessons. Goodbye. Mother, I insist. No. No, no, never. And I think it's cool in the morning to walk through the fresh air. Take a walk. Hmm? Do you really think so? Of course. And let's make it a family tradition. You said it earlier that I need to leave the house more often. Let's go out together. We'll go through the forest and talk about everything. <laughs> Would you agree? It'll be fun. Come on, let's do it. <laughs> well, fine, if you're in. But I have one condition. Andre goes with us. And let it be our brand new family <laughs> tradition. <laughs> I can't. I've got work to do. You can always find a half hour for the family. It seems to me that the Master of Sports is afraid I might overtake him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Pull your socks up. And don't strain your hands. <laughs> step and step. <laughs> I really have to thank you. <laughs> for what? I wouldn't have convinced Mom to do this alone. Oh, yeah? Andre, in fact, I worry about her health as much as you do. I've become very attached to her. Lita, forgive me. Last time I behaved like a jerk. That's all right. I think that you've already redeemed yourself. <laughs> These sticks are a real punishment. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I've never walked here before. You haven't? No. <laughs> that can't be true. Stas and I walk here every single day. Look, do you see that path there? Yes. That leads to the highway. Every day I see you on it. Yep. I go out with the stroller when you go to work. And then I see you here on the road. Really? I Are am. you serious? Sure, bet. <laughs> You're on. <laughs> hey, youngsters! Don't be lagging behind. Let's go for the record. Hooray! <laughs> I guess we should speed Let's up. Let's go! <laughs> and step, and step, and step, <laughs> and step. Look over here. Mommy? Mommy? <laughs> Look over at Mommy Stas. Here Look comes there. the cake. Happy birthday. <laughs> One year old. What a cake. Shall I light Look the candle? No, no. Let's Look. wait for Andre, shall we? It's strange that he's Hello, not here sweetie. yet. He promised to what be do on do? time. Don't worry. He'll come soon. He called when he got into the car, so he'll be here soon. My son has changed a lot in a very short time. Has he? I didn't even notice. Mm-hmm. A year ago, he was gone for days. 
First at work, then some kind of meetings and clubs, and now you can set your watch by him. At six o'clock, he's at home and busy with Stas. And he delights his grandmother's wounded heart. Yes, he is very attached to his nephew. Well, since you've been with us, Lita, our lives have changed a lot, and I'm very happy about that. Very happy, my dear. Yes. He's here! Andre is here! Am I late? <laughs> yes, you are. We blew out the oh, candle and ate the cake. Let me help. How could you? It's not true. We've been waiting for you. All right, I'm sorry. I spent two hours at the toy store while I was looking for a gift for my favorite nephew. <laughs> <laughs> you bought him so many toys, it'll be difficult to surprise him now. Isn't that right? Yet I found right? something yes? special. <laughs> Hi, happy birthday. Ah. Uh, <laughs> You bought him a whole train set? Isn't it a little early for that? I know, I know. I... I like this one very much. And let's... let's start the train. Sit together and meditate on long winter evenings. <laughs> How lovely. Nice. The... the saleswoman said it develops fine motor skills, logical thinking, and... and something else. Of course, a new baby walker. Nice. But Stas has to teach himself how to walk. He doesn't have to do anything, Lita. He doesn't? Well, if he doesn't like to walk, let him move the way he likes, okay? <laughs> don't worry about it. I don't think that he'll crawl before the age of 20. <laughs> okay, kids, let's drink tea. Andre, you light a candle, Lita, and you will blow it out. Because Stas now is completely distracted, aren't you, sweetie? I want my son to learn how to walk as soon as possible. Are you awake? Yes, come in. I wanted to warn you. Tomorrow I have a party with some friends. Ah, so we shouldn't hold dinner? Not really, I'll pop by. I wanted to take Lita with me. Would you mind? Me? Why would I mind? Would you mind looking after Stas? That's exactly what grannies are for. Thank you, Mama. <laughs> Good night, Mama. Mom, it's time. Where's Lita? To arrive on time is bad form. It's okay if you're a few minutes late. <gasps> you look absolutely amazing. I haven't worn heels in so long. It feels awkward. <laughs> Andre, uh, I thought that you were running late. Yes. Did you forget? Yes, yes. Time, you're right. Yes, yes. <sighs> Sorry, not tonight. Ah, you are not alone. Uh, what's your name now? Dina? <clears throat> Lita. So have you come to us from a province, huh? Yes. Hey, listen. So tell us, how do you guys party over there? And the main thing, <laughs> where? I'm interested in whether you have any clubs there. Or do you spend your leisure time in the community centers? <laughs> That's right. Everything is old-fashioned. There are accordion players everywhere mm. in community centers, and Bear is walking the street. There is one thing which makes us like Moscow. Oh, uh, yeah? So tell me, what's that? 
There are cabbage heads there just like you. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Would you like to dance? You're completely right. They are definitely cabbage heads, but cute and mostly harmless. You may be right. Look, if you don't like the atmosphere, we can, we can always leave. No. No? Actually, I really like to dance. How about a cocktail? I would like that. Let's go. Sit here. I'll be back. Pina colada, two, please. Hey, she's an interesting girl. Know if she's in a relationship? Yes. She is with a friend of mine. Do you know if it's serious? You know, I think yes, it is. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Help me have some coffee. What? Coffee! All right. And I really love sweets. Those little tiny ones that, that pop. In your mouth. <laughs> yes, I know. And after eating them, your tongue's all red? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I became a fan when I was in the US. They call them popping <laughs> candy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you regret leaving the United States? Well, at first I did, but not at all now. It only seems that the world is in chaos. In fact, everything is normal. Yeah, but you understand it only some time later. What do you mean? I mean, if I hadn't come back, we wouldn't be walking. And we wouldn't have had the chance to meet each other either. <gasps> no. No, no. We really shouldn't do this. Lida? Is everything all right? You're not yourself today. Yes, I'm fine. It's your imagination. Okay, I haven't asked you how the party was. It was fine. Something happened, I can tell. I hardly recognize you. You seem to have swallowed your tongue. Can you tell me what the reason is, huh? Mrs. Maria. When you took us away from the hospital, I, I was very doubtful. And then you surrounded me and my son with so much love. You, you are very kind. You are wonderful. You are very sensitive. Sweetheart, you're, you're frightening me more and more. It's true, you are the best grandmother in the world and and my mother-in-law. You have no idea how grateful I am to you. Lord, how difficult it is. Maria, I've thought for a while now. I, in general, Stas and I must leave. We must learn to live on our own. Mrs. Maria, are you okay? Hush, hush, Are you hush, okay, hush. Mrs. Maria? Nina! 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 Call 911! 
911. Nina! 